welcome this evening to the Blue Christmas Service. My name is Renee Norton and I am the Executive Director of the Mental Health Association here in Fauquier County. We are excited that we can be part of this experience with you tonight. Grief is a very unique thing that everyone experiences due to loss. And that can be loss of a significant other or loss of experiences like during COVID. Understand that people experience grief in all different ways. And if you feel that this grief is impacting you and your ability to live, laugh, love, and learn, we are here to help you with that. We have given the pastors a um, reference sheet to share with you all with resources about grief. And we are also happy you can call us directly and we will help you find support in this area. We also wanna highlight that on January 6th, we are also partnering with your church, putting together um, coping with loneliness in COVID. And so that evening, we will be Zooming together from 6.30 to 8 to help you um, deal with this COVID. You know, it's been here for a long time and we want to help you deal with the loneliness and find action plans to help you um, as we continue to experience this together. I will now let your pastors welcome you as well. Good evening, friends. We share in a time of grief, but also in hope in this blue Christmas service. I share with you this call to worship. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by God, and without God, nothing came to be. What came to be through God was life, and this life was the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This has been a challenging year for many of us, and we who are uh, going through all of this and also dealing with grief on top of that have been extremely stressed in so many ways. And yet in this season, we pray for rain eternal. And so on this night, we invite you to come and bring all of yourself, all of your struggles, all of your pain, and to engage in a time of worship that Christ and the Holy Spirit might speak to us and allow us to experience comfort as we enter the season of Christmas. I invite you to join us in singing O Little Town of Bethlehem. Thank you. Thank you. 
Today I'm reading from Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 12. It says, For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under, the, under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, a time for peace. What gain has the worker from the toil? I have seen the business of God, I'm sorry, I've seen the business of God as given the sons of men to be busy with. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's mind yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. This is the word of God for the people of God. Our next reading today comes from the Psalms, we're reading the 22nd Psalm today. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, so far from the words of my groaning? Oh God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. In you, our ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. It was you who brought me from the womb. You who kept me safe on my mother's breast. Since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. God does not despise the affliction of the afflicted. God does not hide from me. When I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. Lord, in the midst of winter, when the days are cold and wind can pierce, remind us of the warmth of your love. In the midst of winter, when days are short, dawn comes late and dusk arrives early, remind us that in the darkness your light still shines. In the midst of winter, when the flowers of spring still lie hidden in the earth, when leaves are off the trees and the world can seem bleak, remind us that Easter is but a short time away. And when in our lives we feel as if we are experiencing a season of winter, reach out to us with the power of your resurrection so that we might feel the warmth of your love and see your light that alone can take away the darkness of our soul. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. 
Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that your hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made no low. The rough ground shall be become level, and the rough places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? God sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers of the world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown. No sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows on them and they wither. And a whirlwind sweeps them away like chaff. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint.
We light this first candle to remember those whom we have loved and lost. We pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation when all creation waits for the light. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. O come, O come, O come, Emmanuel, and, and ransom captive Israel that, that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. We light this second candle to remember the pain of loss. We loss of relationships, loss of trust, loss of jobs, loss of health, lots of health, lots of faith, loss of joy. We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O oh God. And we are over we give it over to you, asking that into our wounded hearts and open hands we will place the gift of peace, shalom. We remember that through you all things are possible. Restore, rest restore fresh restore, renew, renew O oh God, oh God, and lead, and lead us, us into your future. future. O oh, come, come thou wisdom, wisdom from on high, who orders all things mightily. To us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, 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 Emmanuel, Emmanuel shall, shall come, come to thee, thee o, Israel. o Israel. We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks, months, and for some of us years that we have been heavy with our burdens. We accept and lay before you. God, the sharpness of memory, the sadness and grief, the hurt and fear and the anger and pain, we accept and lay before you the ways we feel we have fallen short and the times we have spent blaming ourselves and you for all that we have suffered. We accept and lay before you the time we have walked alone in darkness and in knowledge of our own mortality. We remember that though we have journeyed far and, and that, that while lost we may have turned away from the light, the light itself has not failed. We have we remembered that, that through winter be upon us, upon us and, and though the night be dark, dark with turning, turning of the wheel, the dawn will come and dawn, dawn defeats the darkness. O oh, come now, day spring, come and, come and cheer. cheer. Our, Our spirits by thy advent here, disperse the gloomy cloud of night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. We light this fourth candle to remember faith. The gift of light and hope that God offers to us in the stories of Hanukkah and of Christmas, which both along also begin in abandonment, insecurity, and humbleness, in a time of war and in a poor stable. We remember that the loving God who kept the light shining in the temple and who came to share this life with us promises us comfort and peace. We remember the one who shares our burdens, who shows us the way to the light, and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. O come, desire of nations, bind in one the hearts of all mankind. Bid that our sad division cease, and be thyself our king of peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.
We now share a period of prayers of the people. And at the end of each phrase, you will hear the phrase, Lord, hear our prayer. And on your screen, you will see the response, and in your merciful love, answer. Let us pray. God of wisdom, we come to you this Christmas season tired, in turmoil, and in pain. As the nights have grown longer, so has darkness grown and wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of longest nights, we ask your healing blessings upon all that we carry in our hearts. Sorrow, we fear, may never end. Wounds we cannot even put into words. Lord, hear our prayer. And And in your your merciful merciful love, answer. answer. God of mercy and compassion, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been. Death or loss or terrible hurt have changed our experience as Christmas, of Christmas. We remember that once it was a special day for us too, but someone or something precious has gone away from us in this life. We have lost a beloved, a job, a goal, a cause, a dream. We find ourselves adrift and alone. We are weary from the journey, and we have found no room at the inn. We come to you seeking rest and peace and shelter from the storm. Lord, hear our prayer, and And in in your your merciful merciful love, answer. answer. God of grace, in the spirit of the season, grant us all that we need to comfort us as we journey through this Christmas season. We ask that you shelter and sustain all those of us, both here and throughout the world, who wander or want or weep or are heavy laden, that we may be lifted up in courage and journey on in thy peace. Lord, hear our prayer, and And in in your your merciful merciful love, answer. God of love, in this Christmas season we embrace and over you to all, hand over to you all that used to be, which is now lost to us and cannot be again. With celebration all around us, memories of what was and fears of what may be, they weigh heavy on our hearts. Please hold us close in your embrace. Be near to us this night until the light returns and morning comes. Lord, hear our prayer, and And in your your merciful merciful love, answer. answer. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all For love's sake. Amen. Now let us sing away in a major. Oh. 
Luke 2, 1 through 7, New Revised Standard Version. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken by Quirinius, the governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to, in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. One legend that we celebrate in this season tells how a few brave fighters defending their temple had only enough oil to light the sacred lamp for one day. But it burns for eight days until relief arrived. Another legend tells how in a little hill town, a homeless couple with tax problems took shelter in a stable among the animals and gave birth to a light that would change the world. Let us pray. Gentle God of love, help us reach out together for the light of faith, for renewal and recovery and the new day coming. Grant that hope may come to rest in our hearts and let it go forth with us into the darkness this night and in the nights to come until we see the dawn. God, lighten our darkness, we beseech you. Give us light in the night season, and by your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. Amen. Let us continue by reading the 121st Psalm together. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hill, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Who will not suffer thy foot to be removed? He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, the God that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon at night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil and shall sustain thy soul. He shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let us pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for your constant love. We thank you for your constant love and for the blessings of this day. We know that even when we cannot see or feel you, still you are there. Help us to remember you and to listen for your voice in the words of family, friends, and strangers. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you reveal yourself in the world and in our lives. Let the light of your Holy Spirit shine like these candles in the darkness, lighting the way for all who feel despairing, lost, or forgotten, and grant that it may... Come, come to dwell, dwell so deeply in our hearts that when we leave this place, it may shine on for us and for those we meet along the way. Amen. Let us sing.
Let us pray. Another day will come, O God. I know not what it Another day will come, O God. I know not what it may bring forth, but make me ready, God, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, help me to do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of thy peace. Amen. O oh God, support us all the day long in this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, Lord, in thy mercy, grant us safe lodging and the holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace both now and forevermore. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us always, now and forever. Amen.